Hello and welcome to Roguelike Dolls. This is either episode 53 or episode 54. Not quite sure. I'm blanking on whether either of those are correct. Um, we're going to play some Binding of Isaac, believe it or not. And I'm thinking maybe we go Maggie. We have a seed for you, P9WQBD6L. All right, so right off the bat, naturally, we are Maggie. What's Maggie about? Well, Maggie has the Yum Heart, which heals her for one heart of energy. She starts with completely average attack speed and damage and for health that's kind of her thing um ooh, okay i think we want to stick with the yum heart unfortunately uh this is magic fingers it eats a coin and it does damage to everyone in the room we might come back to it. If we have a really good money floor, I'll tell you what. We'll come back to it because Yum Heart isn't the best thing in the whole game. If we have not so good luck on our money and we're not leaving the floor with a lot of money, then we'll stick with Yum Heart. And the idea is we're just gonna pick whichever one seems like it will give us more immediate benefit and at two cents, Yum Heart is worth three cents every five rooms. And Pay to Win is worth a lot. Or not Pay to Win. Um, Magic Fingers is worth a lot, assuming you have a lot of money to deal damage with. Otherwise, you know, you can't get very immediate benefit. I mean, it's also really hard to do the math on, like, okay, but the other like the sense that you're buying or that you're spending to dig with um oh i remember so we're not gonna do uh i think we're not gonna do the box mostly because uh what's the word for it um i would like to put all of our money into the donation machine if possible um, sure. Let's go fight the boss. And you know what? Let's use this Tears Up pill. That will help in this fight a bit. Um, we're still on floor one, so it's not important to get devil deals or anything. Or, like, protect ourselves from damage. We just want to not die, mostly. Uh, but, you know, it's a warm-up. That's why I picked Maggie. Oh man, this is not my finest hour. That diagonal walking was pretty good. You gotta give me that. But, you know, this haunt fight, not, not ideal at all. Okay, okay. It's just been a while since I've fought haunt, I feel like. I don't know if that's true or not. He's at least an annoying floor one boss. Oh, geez. All right, that was actually really good. So at this point in the run, we're pretty much made for attack speed. We don't have to worry about that at all. Uh, we could use a little healing. And we're gonna look what's down here. All right, a bunch of molly booms. I don't know what their real name is, but I think that name is cute. So I go with it. All right, we didn't find any more health, and we have no path into our secret room. So we're just going to leave. It's going to be just fine. And we have the soap, and we didn't really get an item room on this floor. Uh, pro tip, if you're playing this seat at home, simply, you know, skip the item room on floor one to increase your chances at a planetarium. 
we are going to take Monster Manual because I believe it is a very good book. Monster Manual gives you a random uh, familiar uh, per charge and it lasts till the end of the floor. So I rolled into Defense Drone, which is a very fancy familiar who will shoot at projectiles in the area with shielded tiers. So very good defensive familiar. Doesn't do too much. I guess it does damage, but I'm not sure how much. I think it's probably not very much, judging by the fact that that thing didn't really die. If this was an attack fly, um, like kind of the red circling fly, I think that guy would have died in like half that time maybe. Um, we don't have a bomb, so that's okay. Uh, so yesterday, at least for me, was the last time I've played Returnal, and that will be the end of the Returnal series. So, I don't know if, uh, I have so much Returnal to post, I don't know if by the time I have posted this episode, um, whether it will, you know, really be, um, you know, uh, the end of that series. I don't know if I'll have played all the parts of it. Um, so. so, as of right now, I think I posted number 16, and then, like, I think I have from 16 to 37 to post, and that's just a lot of videos um, from where I'm at currently. Oh, jeez. All right, we're fine. Um, this guy's most dangerous thing can't hit me because of defense fly, so we're not too worried about him. Like, we gotta be a little careful of the flies, but none of his projectiles should be able to hit me unless I really mess up. I think we would like to look at our devil deal. A speed up is always really good on Maggie on the account that, you know, they are slow. They're just a very slow person. Um, all right, so we have two pets now. And I think we're just gonna head on down. So, uh, if, if possible, we would like to get into a position to be able to like kill Hush. And I don't think we're out of the hush running just yet on this run. We got Spewer, not quite as good as Defense Drone, but still a very decent familiar. Anything that puts creep on the ground tends to be pretty powerful in this game, at least against enemies who aren't flying. I believe Little Spewer also gets bonuses and or changes like uh, how its creep looks based on what pills it has eaten or we have eaten. Like I think if you eat a lemon party it will be like a shorter yellower uh, creep trail and etc. <laughs> All right, this shouldn't be such a hard room, but these guys kind of are taking a long time to kill because of the fact that we have very little damage. Well, we still have starting damage. It's not that bad. It's just like really not too good. You could always have less than starting damage. I wish I got hit earlier in that room. It would have saved a bunch of time. 
In conclusion, give me back defense drone. All right, actually, little spewer is pretty tight. I don't think we really have damage problems. Pick up this. How did we miss? Very good. Um, when evaluating the like relative merit of monster manual, I think it's uh, important to assume like uh, what's the word for it? To assume its value to be about one familiar per floor. Youch. We have a tinted rock. Um, at least on the earlier floors, before you have battery items and before your, um, I guess I could get that out of the item pool. This is just pause. It stops enemies in a room for a little while. Um, I suppose we want to keep building energy if we can do it without getting hurt. But we already lost our devil deal, but that's kind of okay. Um, this is like... If you have to lose your devil deal on a floor, the third floor is probably the best spot to do it, assuming you did get it on the first floor. Um, because you still go up to 76 or whatever percent devil deal chance on the next floor. Um, so, I don't know. It just seems like you're wasting your least likely chance. But, you know, somebody's good at math or knows more will probably call that call me on that. I didn't like actually do the math. Uh please open up. Hi Stanley. It's chilly in my apartment today because it's raining. It's not great for Stanley. He's a little chilly and would like to be sitting where I am sitting. Alright, Little Skewer doesn't do anything versus these guys anyways. People might say stuff like, Brother Bobby kind of sucks. And they wouldn't be wrong. We got some weird ones on this floor. Now we have a little Gertie, I think. A Gert of your own. Um, and he does that, which is quite a bit of damage. Great pills this time. All right, we are still looking to jam our donation machine before we spend any money. Uh, this is a terrible little spewer type. Ha, got him. Is little Gerd the best possible minion we could have got? He's so powerful. Incredible. Um, what else are we looking for in this run? I think if we're gonna stick with Monster Manual, we want BFF, we want, um, looking for Tinted Rocks. We want BFF, we want Battery Items, and that's, like, based on what we currently have, that would be the best way to get, like, some additional power out of this run. Ouch, we almost got got. We'd lose our 9% devil deal chance. We need that. <laughs> All right. We did need it. Oh, wow. That was amazing. Did you see that? It took luck and shot speed. All right. New plan. The same plan. Um, we now have controlled tiers. Um, we have really low health. But we could find a Tinted Rock here, which I just totally missed. That helps a lot. 
I don't I don't think I would have took sulfur even if it would have not killed me. It literally wouldn't have killed me to take sulfur is what I'm saying, but uh, I don't think we need it, even though sulfur plus, you know, controlled tears is a pretty sweet combo. It, maybe it's one of the most powerful combos. I don't know about that. That might be hyperbole, but it's certainly good. Huh, um, all right, well, we have a battery charge. What can we do with that? Nothing, really. I'm gonna keep Mom's Pearl, and here's why. Um, Bright Bulb is good if you have, it gives you an all stats up, and it's really powerful, but it's only active when you have the maximum amount of, what's the word for it? Um, I guess it could be up here too. Nope. Um, it only does anything when you have a full energy charge on your item. So between one charge and five charge, the item doesn't do very much for you. What do we got? Uh, Rotten Baby's great. And we got the greatest experimental pill of all time, perhaps. Oh man, we don't have to go anywhere. These guys are so forked. We're, we're pretty made now. Um, this Emanates Purity should get us a lot of free soul hearts, and otherwise I just don't think we have any worries with our current build. Um, we still would like battery items. We wouldn't mind more damage. Um, I was kind of counting on, you know, working off the familiar for my primary, like, sponge of damage in this run, but um, it looks like the game is kind of giving us a lot of damage and a lot of attack speed early on, so um, even more damage, or not damage, more attack speed. We're past the tears cap now. He almost got us. Oh my god, I'm doing this all wrong. Anyways, uh, just making up for my lack of positioning skills with raw gaming talent. Do you want me to teach you how... <laughs> uh, I was going to say, if you wanted me to teach you how um, to get this ability, type raw me in the replies. <laughs> But you should not do that. Please do not type Rami in the comment section. <laughs> oh. One weird trick to get banned from YouTube. <laughs> oh my god. Alright. Oh my god. Oh. Uh, uh. Uh, all right, that's fair. Now that I've taken damage in this room, I can stop worrying about taking damage in this room so much. I should have just used Chariot, honestly. Um, I don't know if this will have an effect. We'll find out, but it's pretty cool nonetheless. Spoonbender is target-seeking shots. Um, Forget Me Now is neat, and we'll probably take it up on that. That will preclude us getting the hush, but maybe we can go for, um, you know, uh, we can still do dark path, and maybe we'll do, like, a victory lap, if it will let us. I think it does, so we might use chariot on this boss, because it'll be kind of nice, but if we can keep this pattern of only killing, like, one of these dudes at a time and not letting a bunch of bombs sneak up on us. Uh, Alright, that wasn't bad. And I'm thinking we're gonna redo this floor. We found the Seeker room. We didn't use the Chariot card, which is nice. 
We love not using the chariot card. Oh, ha, ha, ha. Are you the secret room? Huh. What else do we want here? I don't know. We'll get this box. I guess now that we've given up on going fast, we can take our time. We're not gonna get boss rush, obviously, and we probably won't get hush. We would like a charge before we go down to our next floor. Even though our tiers are pretty good, it is nice to start off a floor with, you know, an extra friend. All right, a second chariot. Incredibly worth it. Oh, we didn't find the store. That could be good. And there's this tinted rock. That's amazing. That's a great outcome from a tinted rock. Um, ooh, all right. We're not going to steal from our store, but we are going to get mom's key. That's a pretty good item. It increases the output of chess. So, you know, it does a lot for us. All right, it is raining chariot cards on us. We can complete this pole clear. Yeah, I think Spoonbender does nothing. Um, you know, uh, when you have the, what is this thing called? I have no idea what this item is called, but whatever this is that is making my tears, like, controlled, um, I'm not going to be able to find the super secret room, I think. I have no idea where that would be. Fuck. Oh, I hate getting hit, but I do it very often. Didn't get hit here. Cowards. What do we got? We're in Curse of Darkness. We got a bandage girl. And we love to get bandage girl. She protects us from shots and she can turn into a walking bandage girl if we get three of her, which probably won't happen. Um, she turns into a better walking bandage girl if you can get four. And that's how the game works. We'll check this for a bomb. We have so many bombs. The world, that is good enough just to use. I suppose I would rather use a bomb than a key to get into this item room. Oh, this will be weird. Let's see how this works. Actually, this might be the greatest item ever. Um, my, oh, wait. This is still pretty close to the greatest item ever. I thought it was the one that sent random tears, but it turns out it is the one that... All right, we want to get one more charge and then come back here and get two friends for the price of one. What if the super secret room was there? I don't know. I'm just spitballing here. All right, we'll use that. Then we're gonna get this discount energy to get another friend. We found a really great friend. It is um, Succubus top tier. He aims with us. He has our tiers. We love to see him. Basically, um, 
He doesn't quite double our damage. His tiers are slightly worse than ours. Um, everyone except for Lilith gets a penalty with this item, where the baby only gets like half your tier damage. But since Lilith doesn't have tiers, um, she doesn't get that penalty. For one penny, is it worth it? Can't even see the exit on that side. Right? Definitely shouldn't go. Oh my god. We did get a micro friend, however. Uh, a small friend who. A diminutive pal. Um, who. Who runs around and shoots stuff. He kind of got to get him to aggro. Um, he's not very powerful. But, you know, welcome to the party, pal. Die hard. We'll use monster manual again, why not? Uh, unfortunately, we know that our secret room, or our uh, secret room is not next to that room, so we'd have to take some damage to gain access to the boss trap room. It could be worth it. And depending on how much damage we take on the boss, we might just go for it. So we do have a lot of minions. Does anyone remember how many health we have? There is a um, poop back there. So we gotta remember not to break it. So that will get us a full heal. Oh, it popped anyways. Um, then I guess we definitely don't want to take damage in that case. Uh, just so many chariot cards. Huh. Risky, but I guess I like it. And I think we gotta be at two hearts, but let's just check. All right. So we'll take our chariot and get out of here. Where are we at, heart-wise? Okay, not in a great spot. And we only got a little bit of damage for that, so it was probably a bad idea. But if we find a lot of hearts from something here in a second, we could be in a really good position. Okay, we're gonna play this a couple of times, if it will let us. It will not. We only had to play it once. That's what we like to see. Um, we now have Guppy's Tail, which gives us the curse of getting a lot of stuff. It's gonna be pretty sick. Um, I don't wanna bomb you. I don't think that will get you. All right. I think we can just get a payout from this guy. So we're gonna have a lot of money very soon. So I'm not afraid of not having money for the store. monster. Let's go with the chariot for now. Alright, we're gonna do this. Oh my god, that could not have gone worse. Bad start. Um, we mostly just want energy from here to get a couple more babies going. Excellent, excellent. Um, we didn't even use the chariot. That's economical. These guys with the heads that pop off, they're very good at hitting. The tracking on that micro friend is incredible. That was the longest head pop ever. Show some damn respect. Truly the throat goat has logged on. 
Oh my god. Now we have two micro friends at least. Alright. We're very close to death. That's a tears up. We want that, I think. Whee! Oh yeah, baby, pure profit. Let's see what this one is. And if we get hit on these spikes, we are gonna die. So don't do that. Speed up, hell yeah. Now we're cooking. Oh my God. We are so close to death. <laughs> we're farming micro dudes, don't even worry about it. How did we lose our micro dudes? I thought they were, like, permanent for the rest of the floor, but I was wrong. Please let us live. Okay. We're gonna use some chariot here. Okay. Perfect use of the chariot. And we found a blue heart, which makes us a lot less close to death. We got a succubus, which will be a lot of damage. Now things are looking up. Which floor is this? Steps one. We'll fight the boss immediately. Thank you. Uh, could be trouble, but I think I think we'll be fine mostly as long as that spike, you know, minds its own damn business. the average dying to a spike fan versus the not dying to a spike enjoyer. All right. Oh, once again, I will never ever pay for my sins. That is the roguelike doll's promise. Don't ever make me make a decision. We didn't find the item room yet, so we're not going down um, out of here just quite yet. We're gonna get hit 50 times in this room. No tinted rock there, I think. Give me a payout, you jerk. Thank you? Alright. We're not gonna roll with it, but we will pump it exactly one time. We will take the fool card. So that we can... Oh, no, I actually do want to fight this one. Um, I was going to say, if it's like a bad big room, we were going to, you know, hop on out of here. But this big room was fine. Looking for tinted rocks. Don't see any. So we went everywhere but the item room. Excellent. Curse of the maze is paying off for us, I think. Um, linger beans actually pretty good. Um, I think sometimes we fart and our farts hurt enemies. Did we find the store even? No? Okay. Um, so one justification for not like going down and for doing longer clears is that your power with monster manual are is like cumulative so the longer you've been on a floor the more powerful you are and thus like the safer it is to wander around using monster manual um hmm. were you a range up no we're tears down oh damn oh i don't think i really want pay to win So we will head on out of here. Would we rather? No. I was gonna say, we could use that machine, but then I remember we have this little betrayal dagger that betrays us um, every floor and then gives us a little bit of damage. I think it will give us a lot more damage on this floor than it did on the last floor. And it gives us a couple of micro friends. And we'll use monster manual, and we're back in the money immediately. Um, we'll open this, which was pure profit. 
amazing. We'll take that for sure. Um, and then, now that we have the dark hand path, we're gonna get red chests instead of like gold chests or gray chests, which between Curse of the Tail and that, oh my God, I don't have another key for this. Incredible. Um, between uh, the Curse of the Tail and this trinket, one, our key situation will normalize, uh, which, you know, has been the talk of all the economics forums and, uh, you know, periodicals for God knows how long they've been upset over the fact that we are running ourselves dry on keys. Uh, this doesn't help us on the boss, so I'm going to immediately use it. You can't use High Priestess on Mom effectively for a variety of reasons. One, I forget if it even works, and two, even if it did work, like, she can't really, like, step on herself. Like, that boss is not visible, like, half the time. So, eh, eh, no, we're gonna use it to get into the vault. That's wisdom. Uh, this is two of three for Guppy. But we're gonna keep Monster Manual, and I know how people love it when I take Curse of the Tower. People on, stop me on the street every single day, and they're like, the way you take Curse of the Tower is so brave. I want you to come speak at elementary schools. I'm like, Um, we are now Spirit of the Night, which gives us Flying and Spectral Tears. Uh, we don't have Piercing Tears yet to kind of complete the trifecta of kind of classic Isaac tear effects. Um, but you, we're doing real dang good. Uh, Bob's brain's a little, like a little tiny bit zesty. But, I mean, by some people's standards, not by my standards. Alright, we're back in the devil room. That's just fine. We're gonna see if this could be our secret room. Damn you. Could this be our secret room, though? Damn you. Acceptable. Um... On the other hand, we're still not going to find very many keys because we're turning all of our room rewards into red chests. Uh, we'll hunt for a black heart. We are dependent on black heart HP for now. And we would love to start the womb off with uh, a, another minion, so we're not going to use our monster manual again on this floor, I think. Did we find the... We found the... Uh, neither the store nor the item room. So I, I think we can actually pretty safely use monster manual one more time on this floor. Are any of these a tinted rock? Nope. When I say safely use, I just mean and have a charge left over for the next floor. So close to Guppy. This is a wonderful item. It gives us sort of a quad shot. No, this isn't that one. Um, this is the less weird one. Um, this one just gives slow effect, which will save us a ton of health over the course of this run. We're very happy to have it. Probably save the run. Um, and we're out of keys. Um, we also have... There's a different item that we didn't pick up that does quad shot and it's sort of like when you get hit, it becomes a familiar who jumps around the room. I don't know if the monster manual can summon that one. I don't think I've ever seen it do that. Bob's brain is doing the Lord's work as usual. Youch. 
That should be it with a little luck. And our third go into the devil room on this floor, uh, which I'm not going to look at. So we know it's Spirit of the Night. If things get too hot in a room, we can use the Fool card to get out of there. Likewise, we could use the Fool card if we find a dead end. Very interesting. We took the negative because we're planning on going, um, just let me out of here without hurting me and you can have that key. No, you can't. <laughs> we pulled one over on them. That was a mean trick, but we had to do it. Spectral tears make this boss not so bad because he can't hit you. You can just shoot over the rocks. You have tons of cover. Alright, Guppy. No, that's almost as good though. In many ways. Holy fuck, where did we end up? We're 10 trillion miles away. Oh my god. Alright, drone fly? No, that one's not very good, but okay. I mean, we do have flying, so technically we could go like that, but... The, the current combination of things that we have make it so that that item is virtually uncontrollable. <laughs> Alright, more seven deadly sins rooms. Our, we didn't get our damage bonus on this floor because we no longer have any, uh, uh, you know, red heart HP for this item to steal. Which begs the question, why did I even take it? And why didn't we go the light side path? And the answer is because I want to kill Rat. Like, yeah, we had no HP and we could have went light side path pretty easily and it wouldn't have been too bad, but we didn't, like, I don't even know if we need to fight Mega Satan on Maggie. I think we already, I think that was our, like, first Mega Satan kill, so. And then secondly, like, oh my god, very scary. Um, we don't really need anything else, so we'll just go for it. Don't get hit. All right, we're kind of we're kind of making it work. I think that was mostly the boss's fault more than like any skill on my part. We'll look at this. Um, that's Guppy, which is nice. It doesn't give us any flying, but we now spawn flies, and it only cost us one of our hits. Wow, the scarred room looks really cool. But maybe that's just... No, it's Curse of Darkness. And, um... The Scarred Moon, which gives it... At least on my monitor. I don't know if it's coming up on the recording. I kind of just use my TV um, to play Isaac on. Um, but it's a very purple color for me. What did we get? Can't even tell. Oh, Laser Baby. Okay. Uh, we want to play this a lot. In fact, we want to blow up these two. What do we got? Shot speed up. Great one. Another one pill makes you small. We love it. Um, and then we're going to be working on this to try to get... Uh, like a hero font card is good. Uh... I guess we don't need the left-hand path anymore. Ansus. Ansus is nice. Extension cord is kind of cool. And I guess we'll take the tower. So we probably want to go for our secret room. It's not incredibly expensive for us to get it. We just have to do this big room, and we didn't get the worst enemies. Pretty 
Where are you? Got him? Okay. We got a shiny new nickel. And we get a chance to peek into our boss trap room for free. We don't have to be at one health. Yeah, we want damage. Oh, jeez. Amazing. I think we were invulnerable because it spawned on top of us. So we sort of got some Isaac right of way. Fight and bloat. But look at that damage. Oh, my God. We melted him. We'll take another one. And then we might save our next charge for the next floor. What did we even get out of that? Oh, um, turret follower. Oh my god. That was bad. I didn't see them. Curse of Darkness problems. Gotta be more careful. I forgot about Curse of Darkness and the existence of enemies. You're just double checking that that was not, uh, you know, a, uh, oh my god, there's other enemies in here. Look, I'm as surprised as anyone about the fact that I did not take damage in that room. Also this room. Very impressive stuff. Wow. Really pouring it on thick in this chest. Is that how that goes? Is that what that means? Alright. Now we can just get grill pilled and comfy, and this fight will be over before we know it. Fuck, how did I get hit? And by what? Alright. Don't be Krampus. And this is an easy take. That's, although it's like kind of free-ish, not a great pickup. Um, and with that, I think we want to bug out, right? Or actually, we could go get some soul hearts if we wanted to, so we're not stumbling around Sheol with no like money or life or anything. This can pay out with soul hearts. It can pay out with crystal ball, which is tempting at this point in the run. We have great damage, so we don't really need um, the monster manual anymore if we want to get rid of it. Okay. So we'll want some active that's not very valuable. That's a little better. Um, and then we'll want one of these. Then we'll blow up this machine. Gave us a key and a penny. All right, I think this is a winner. This could be our secret room, maybe? Or no, it wasn't. We already know where our secret room is. There is a super secret room, though. I'm not just stalling for no reason. I think it might keep us more alive to go check it out, right? Uh, we have to go pretty far, but I think we'll be okay. We have flying and stuff. We very well could end up, you know, with a couple extra soul hearts or something if we play our cards right. It's dawning on me that we could have went via our secret room and only had to clear the big room, but, you know, not exactly the quickest thinker. Okay, what do we got? A damage up? You can't put a price on that. I guess most items are 15 cents, but, you know.
luckily we're so dang fast that this backtracking is not a pain at all. Um, we almost went into there, but we want to go into here. Whew. Don't want to go to the void yet. All right, thank you. Please don't kill us. No! <laughs> you can't beat us. We're too stupid for that. That would have been too stupid of a way to die. You see this? Much better. Ah, you can't kill me. Now you're gonna beat this room. Why? There's really no point. Except for a key. Can't put a price on that. Wow, a key? Can't put a price on that. I'm being told that there's many ways to commensurate the value of a single key to other objects in this game. I don't know about that. Oh yeah, we're gonna get a payout here. It's gonna be huge. super useful yet. Alright. That's fine. Everyone's impressed. Oh, jeez. We could get out of the secret room, but we'd very much be trapped inside of it. which would be less than ideal, as you could imagine. We have a little delirium. It's a kind of nice one. Uh, remind me why and or how we got rid of our purity bead. What floor did that even happen on? This is such a travesty. That was such a good trinket. Oh, we got rid of it to take... Um, Fucking, what's that item? Uh, left hand path so that we could get Guppy. I forgot. All right. I thought I did it by accident. I was so mad. <laughs> This run shouldn't be as close as it is, given that we have, like, Guppy and everything you could want in the whole world. And yet, here we are. Why? Once again, I have to blame that, uh, item that stabs you. Like, obviously I've been kind of playing it wrong, right? There's definitely better ways to play that item that involve, like, not giving away all of your red hearts. This guy's tempting, but we need these keys. Thought you were clever. Not outsmart me. Oh, jeez. I think we're safe on top of this rock, though. I swear I'm not just pretending to say it's close. Like, so that I can pretend that we're having, like, an underdog story right now. Let me know in the comments if you think that's what's happening, because I... That's really not my intention. I'm just, I legitimately am concerned that we're gonna die because we don't have any health. Like we have a lot of tries, but we don't have a lot of health.
but I'm kind of realizing that we do have an incredibly powerful and arguably safe build at the moment. Guardian Angel makes us a lot safer. Alright. No reason to get hit. Stand at a like, 80 degree angle. We have a lot of luck. That's always nice to see. You know what? I can get you from across the room. Curse bombs. Nice to see. Ugh, too late. But we still got him with the poison. Can't put a price on that. Alright. He should not be too bad. Oh, do we have two of these? That's sick. These guys are on anti weird floaty bomb dude patrol. Oh, that'll finish him. Alright, we did get hit. A little too much. But we can technically take all these devil deals if we want. Don't don't do us. Alright. So I have a sicko genius brain idea. And here's how it goes. Leviathan. Alright, so we are going to get the contract, don't worry. But we're going to wait until we have at least one soul heart on the floor. So that we can maximize our effective health on this floor by kind of splitting it up into a wave one and a wave two. Conjoined is actually really good when you have these, like, controlled tiers, I guess they're called, um, because all three of your tiers are likely to hit your target. Makes it a lot better. Normally when you get conjoined, you're lucky to hit with like two of them. Scared of these guys because I can't really see them. We got one. I think there's as many as two or three. We did it. There was no chest sound. We would love a soul heart on the ground. Either we want a soul heart or we want to take damage, is the two things. equals power is lovely. There'll be a lot of extra damage for us. With the potential for more, this thing is fine. It's kind of an ice baby that floats around, and I believe it will freeze enemies. Um, and you just kind of bump it, and it moves around. It's okay. It's just a baby frozen in ice. Perfectly harmless. So now that I'm done with Returnal, um, never to play it again, probably. It's like a really good game and I'd put it up there with like greatest games of all time. Um, you know, we if we just don't get hit, then, you know, we're fine. Perfect, did we get a chest? No. That's our cue. 
You know what? Actually, it doesn't matter if we do it on two or three. We just can't pick up a red heart HP. So if a red heart HP spawns, just definitely don't pick it up. That's the rule. Um, poop love. I don't think this gives HP. What's this? Pertho is okay. Looking for our super secret room. I guess we could look for a secret room as well. There's a lot of valid secret room locations in the dark room because there's not really very many rocks usually in most of the room types. So like, and there's not usually very many pits. The world. All right, we could use the world. That will give us our secret room location. We want Pertho for now. Sort of ideal. Experimental shot speed down is fine. What do we got? Uh, Nancy bombs random blast is very good. Then we're gonna take this. It's gonna give us two hearts back. We're gonna go to our secret room, which could have mega greed, but it probably won't. We're gonna play this a bunch. We're just hoping for soul hearts from a chest. This is probably really good. Uh, it's unclear if it did anything, but not bad for sure. Any chest this guy spits out on this floor are gonna have items in it. So let's actually not take most of these unless they're really good. Um, I'm gonna do this instead of that. So now we're gonna we're not into any of these, so we're gonna pertho them. Perthro. Alright, and we got some really good stuff. We actually got a really hilarious thing. So we're gonna take that. And then we got a really funny item it's the R key it lets us start the run over and I don't know if we can use it after killing this guy because I think we're gonna get the pop-up to do no we probably can't use it after killing this guy so we're actually gonna use the R key which brings us back to basement one welcome to roguelike dolls episode uh you know, 53 or 54. Um, we just are now starting basement one and we're getting going on this run. Um, it was the longest run ever. It was the shortest run ever. We are gonna skip our item room until we get, unless we don't get a, um, what is this? Sure. Tears up, shot speed down. Perfect. Um, and this is absolutely good enough. Uh, wait. Sad bombs is really good. I'm glad we won in this one. Uh, we, we could swing it, but we don't care. Um, we're just gonna go fast is our goal for this. So we're already so long into this run, it's ridiculous, but not that I'm trying to like speed through it or anything, I just think it's very silly. Um, this is really interesting. We're actually gonna go to every item room. Uh, you know, screw planetariums. Long live, give me the items now. I think we have another chance to jam our donation machine as well, maybe. 
tiers up. Uh, we're actually at a tiers cap, so that didn't affect us. But we're we're just cruising like right along. I don't know if our hush timer or a boss rush timer resets for this, so we're proceeding as though maybe it does. We have no map on this floor, so I'm inclined not to warp. We'll make uh, you know getting around very confusing. We do get damage from money, so that's something to keep track of. We can use um, compost to double our... I don't even know about that. We can use compost to double our flies. So every time it's up, we should press it because we have guppies, so we don't really need to, like, wait for anything else to get us flies. We can just, you know, spam it out as fast as we can. And every time we do it, we're probably close to the fly cap already. A youch. Uh, there's still enemies in here somehow? No, there's just a button. It's always been a button. Oh, uh, yeah. Forgot what you are. Full health? Okay. Take this, and we can rejam our donation machine. So we'll actually do that real quick. All right, and we didn't even jam it yet. And we unlocked small rock, and we accidentally stole some money from our donation machine. How rude. Uh, didn't mean to do that. All right, perfect. Let's go. Uh, shoop the whoop is very funny, but we'll roll on it because we're happy with our current item. Uh, we could do better or worse. At the very least, it is a passive item we can take with us. We're out of keys. Won't solve our key problem. This might be a... Uh... No, we have no map, so it's not a labyrinth. It was just a really big floor. Box of stuff. Wonderful. We love stuff. We got a key out of it. Lovers, full health. Maybe we will take full health. Oh, uh, yeah. Let's go with this. We don't really need that other one because we already have flight. Um, and we want the hermit. Okay, let's go. One makes you small. Sure, hermit. Let's go. Our key on the final floor of the chest is pretty amazing. This will make it a really, really long episode. It'll be like, how did that even happen? She's not even playing Returnal. Shouldn't have took so long. Were it not for technological limitations um, on my end, and not that I couldn't figure it out, but... Uh, like, I'd be putting out trillion hour long videos. They'd be completely unwatchable. Wow, look at all that. We have so many shots. I don't even know where they're all coming from at this point. This is terrible. We're going to reroll with some cash. This is wonderful. All right, so our damage is way down, and we unlocked Lethargy, which I think you need to get, like, 10 or some ridiculous number tears up within a single run. And we got Almond Melt, which is a ridiculous item. I think tears up pills also count towards Lethargy. Um, Lethargy is, like... Your tears are bubble, and if they run into each other in the air, then you get like... Oh, this is going to give me motion sickness. Jesus Christ. <laughs> oh my god. What do we got? Two of 
clubs. Of clubs. Doubles our bombs. We don't really care. I guess we have random bombs, which is pretty wild. Like, they could be poison, they could be brimstone bombs. Um, but we're just trying to go fast. But we are going to look at the devil deal. And we love both of these. We're not going to mess around with the demon beggar too much. But we love both of these. So now we have bad pills. What bad pills gets us is... Um, every pill we take, or we have bad PhD. Every pill that we take is going to, um, we were going to use the hermit to get out of here, so I didn't plan on, like, messing with a big two of diamonds play on this run. Almost anything you can do with the store is pretty slow. But we do want our item. We'll be back for this stuff in a second. We are cruising. We're cruising. For bruising, maybe. Um, wait, stop. Stay still. Uh, no, just the regular variety of cruising. Looking for homosexual relationships. Isn't that what that means? I don't know the slang that people used in the 70s. So. Do people still say that? I don't talk to anyone. I just, you know, live at my house. Um, nah, let's reel up, roll this. We want something silly. That's pretty silly, but it scales with damage, so we're not into it. This is crazy, I think. I think Aquarius is supposed to pick up the effects of your tears, which I thought was going to be more wild, considering how wild, um, you know. Uh, let's fight this mini boss. We would love the virus. We could get it or anything else from a mini boss. Uh, I think that's two of three for Bookworm. If we could get a library at some point, we could really start making this work for us. Huge floor. I wonder if that's a side effect of the R key. Alright, we need to stop shooting. Alright, so now we have bad pills. Let's take it. Speed down. But we get damage up from all these. Or a black soul heart. So... We're basically going to pop every single pill, no matter what, even if it's tears down. That is my promise to you, the YouTube audience. As if I have a different audience. I could someday. Oh, jeez. Let me through the door. Almost out of keys again. Thank you. We should max out on health. We have so many buddies. Spelunker achieved. I think we're going to get a lot of our damage list achievements in this run if we can. I think we already got Basement Boy in a different run. That might have been one of the ones that I messed the volume up on. Alright, and with that, we're going to go down. What do we got in here? Uh, we want keys really bad, so yeah. We would love to get Depths Boy. We'll take it. So we'll probably be taking some tears down and some other negative pill effects. I guess the only thing that would make this run better is piercing. That's like... It's not like what I'm asking for, it's just like for sure if we had piercing, our run would be stronger. I'm like picturing the few items that really make a difference here. The list isn't incredibly long. 
There's so many layers of stuff moving around on screen. It's not like the flashiest build ever, but it's like one of the most visually thick and luscious builds of all time. We could even, uh, what's our YouTube clickbait gonna be? Is it gonna be like the most luscious, the silkiest? most nausea. It's not even the most nausea inducing run of Isaac we've had is the wild part here. God, bad PhD owns. I love bad pills. Uh, tarot card is pretty good, but we're not going to go for it. We would go for a joker, though. Joker. Um, give us this. Thank you. And now this is, like, incredibly greedy, and we just took it for, um... You know what? Compost? Not really... I don't think we need that. I think it's actually cooler in this case to have an Economicon. And here's why. We have infinite flies. Wow. We've put almost 100 coins in our donation machine on this run. We could easily hit 100. Or we put 75 in, but we started at 25, I think, at the start of this run. There were probably doubters early on in this video. Nonetheless. I think you can get infinite poops from those, but it's a very boring way to play. What? You're still firing? That's against the rules. My poops make little whines every time. It's very disturbing to me. We should just pop Necronomicon every time we remember about it. So between Mom's key and... Uh, wealth from below, we should start to get the economy restabilized. I don't know what it's been. We've gotten so many gold chests on this run, maybe. Um, where's my pill? I need to make the map smaller. Luck down. Went the wrong way. I still think we're doing fine if I don't know if it counts boss rush over, but we're gonna do boss rush if we can and we're gonna do hush if we can. Uh this is almost good enough, but not quite. We want something wackier. That's pretty wacky. That's the ticket. That's the wacky stuff. We have 99 bombs, and I think we've used two bombs in this uh, New Game Plus run. Our R key run. Um, Alright, we want this. Uh, You know what? 10 luck? Sounds nice. We're not going to get hit for the rest of the run anyways, so... This is a trinket that gives you 10 luck, which in this case, we have a thousand fists, but if you get hit, you lose the trinket forever. Wow, 10,000 stone fist attack, iconic. We have some red heart HP. We are only spawning fists. 10 trillion fist Maggie, most powerful run ever. Oh, listen to that baby purr. I think, you know what? No commentary can beat. Well, we're gonna pump up the sound effects a little bit. <laughs> you guys, you don't get it. Tears down. You have no idea. You guys don't have one clue. We're gonna lose it in this room. There's no way. There's no way. Oh my god. We're gonna lose it. No, don't. Stop. Alright. 
If we can keep it in that room, I feel like we can keep it anywhere. All right, okay, what are we doing? We're not stealing from our donation machine. And in fact, despite these great items here, we're giving back to the donation machine still. They're very good items. But like, what does car battery do for this run? Like, why do we care about car battery? Like, yeah, car battery's sick. But, what's the point? We do want our item room, maybe? No, did we get our item room? Was that on the previous floor? Holy crap, we have another item room? Incredible. Oh. What are you? X-Lax. I don't even think X-Lax is a bad pill. Game might disagree. What are you? The world? Okay, we'll use that. That gets us our secret room. Our bombs are so ridiculous. Uh, I don't want to use Amnesia. I don't even think we need it at this point. I just want to get to the item. That's all I want. Like, there's no other big play to be made. I can just keep moving. There's like zero stakes. I don't even need money. I guess it's like a little nice, but we don't really need money. We could find a lot more pills though. D8, we'll pump it once. Huh. I don't know what to make of that. Um, we lost a little damage, which sucks, but I don't really care. Like, we have the most ridiculous amount of, like, fists. We're the fistiest build of all time. So we want to go dark path, I think. We want to take this, which gives us permanent empress effect. And we don't want death's list because we're not going to be able to do that. And then we want to keep moving. All right, what minute are we on? 16? Um, so we didn't get boss rush, so I'm thinking our key is cumulative for the time. We can't get hush. But we could easily kill delirium, we could kill, um, we, we kinda can't get to mega satan, that's not gonna happen. But we might be able to get delirium. build ever. We are like the ultimate kung fu god. <laughs> A credit card? We don't care about. Kill we care about incredibly. Credit card gets you everything in a store for free. Including evil deals. Actually, you know what? We're going to lose a lot of our fists, but no, that's not even a trinket. We don't even have to worry about that. We will take Amnesia. Just finish off our, um... We'll take a second Amnesia. Um, I, don't, I guess we don't want to take it with us, but... Now we're going to wander around for a bit. The key is actually kind of nice. Spectral Tears is really doing a lot for us. I wish we had a thing to help visually locate us on screen. There is simply too much. Ouch, that was a mimic chest. Okay. 
I'm gonna need all of my bombs to calm it the fuck down. <laughs> Holy shit. Um, we're almost to full black hearts. We'll be wandering lost in the desert for the next 50 years. Dark Bum is doing the Lord's work. Uh, the money is good for us to pick up. We still have money as power, and we are getting a lot of money per... We can get, like, one damage up with a full set of money. So, that's worth doing. We won't get... Oh boy. Because we got damaged on this floor. That's too bad. I don't know if we needed Womb Boy, though. We probably did. There's a good chance we'll get Sheol Boy. I think that's Amnesia. I'm not that into it. I'm being totally honest. Two of diamonds. All right, now we don't have to go after money anymore. Uh, no thanks. Unless we want to go for lightning fists. Do you guys have a tolerance for that? So we could go for lightning fists. So there's like a minuscule chance this pays out with Jacob's ladder. It's like one in a trillion, but it could happen. Come on, bud. You know what? We don't need this. We'll have to stop firing. Give this a chance to pop up. on this floor? Because our A plus is still there. I don't know if we got hit. Because if we got hit, we should have lost our A plus. See what I'm saying? The math doesn't quite add up. Now we pray. We did get Mama's boy. Okay. So we're going to go... Take the speed down pill. Gives us a little damage up. Take tears down, which gives us a little damage up. And then we gotta do it, right? What is it? <laughs> Jesus Christ. I don't even know if this is an upgrade. It's certainly stupider. <laughs> It's definitely really, really silly. Experimental pill. We have Seeking, which is actually doing stuff now. I forgot about Spoonbender. Everyone forgot about Spoonbender. Huge mistake. All right, yeah, this is our most powerful run we've ever had on the channel, which makes sense because we did twice as much game. We have twice as many items, but still. We lost our credit card somewhere, but I promise you it doesn't matter. Alright, gimme... yes, gimme Guppy's color. I don't think luck is actually doing anything for us anymore, unfortunately. So we'd much rather have the leaky pen cap, which I think gives us fear. And we'll just take a nap over here. Ah, 
not even sure if we we gotta move around during this fight. It would be hubris not to move around. We can definitely take damage from these guys. Alright. And now we go back down. We didn't get the void, unfortunately. That would have been our first delirium kill. But that's fine. Whole new set of darkroom items. I don't want to accidentally take the devil deals. All right, so what do we got? Um, I think we want this one. I'm pretty sure this doesn't do anything, but we'll take it. And then we want bloody lust, which I think maybe is damage when we get hit. Oh, an Oculus Rift, very pleasant. To be. I'm very, very surprised and pleased to report that um, it does prop. Pain from gain. I'm not gonna press it because I don't want to lose Darkroom Boy. Is that cowardly? It might be, I don't care. Can we get a chest? We'll find out later. We'll let the map tell us. I don't know if we need to do a floor of full clear here, but I'm pretty into it. So we do have like a lot of cool stuff. I don't know if this ruins the runner or not. I'm willing to find out. No, it doesn't. It actually makes it somehow even more silly. Tears down. Um, retrovision probably Retro counts as a bad effect. I don't really agree that it rises to the level of a bad effect, but... You know, if that's how the game feels. Um, you know, let me know in the comments if you're still here, if you would have preferred me to do a full clear, because I definitely could. It's just, I don't know if there's a point, you know? Uh, would we like to do a victory lap? And we got Golden God. All right. Which I think means we did a whole run without taking damage. Um, yeah, let's do a victory lap. We're gonna lose some stuff. But we're not going to lose everything. Um, and you know what? With that, um, we're going to actually end this video and start a new video. So stay with us. We might lose.